Hello friends, in this video today we are going to discuss about Galilean transformation and Lorentz transformation. First let us discuss about Galilean transformation. What is it? So let us discuss about Galilean transformation. Galilean transformation. Now suppose we have two frame of reference. Uh, one is suppose this one and this is suppose s x sorry x axis this is y axis and this is z axis and this is the origin o and another frame of reference which is moving with velocity v with respect to s this is s this another frame of reference which is moving with velocity v and this is x des y des and z des and this is the origin o des and here we have an object suppose p at this point now you see so here you can see this now is according to the frame of reference s des the position of p is x des comma y des comma z des and the time t this okay so let me write it clearly x this and according to this s frame so its position is x comma y z and time t so now here you see as the as it is moving as it is moving in the direction of x-axis along x-axis it is moving along x-axis so that's why here you see this x coordinate will be changed as it moves so now you see this distance is x test and from here it is x it is x and therefore so distance travel that will be x minus x test okay so distance travel by this initially this uh, these two frame of reference uh, was like this this is s and s this both were at the same position x and x des here y and y des and o and or is in o des both were at same position then this frame of reference as this moves with velocity v so then what will be the distance traveled by this point p that will be x minus x des okay because here you see when the frame of reference were at the same position this p uh, from here uh, when s and s this were on same position this is y y this okay so, sorry then here you see this was the distance x and x this both were equal okay so as it moves so distance travel uh, by this object p is given by the difference uh, this uh, sorry x minus x this okay now let me clean this space first <coughs> here you can see x minus x this that is the distance traveled by an object we know that is speed into time so speed is v here and time is t so this gives x uh, x this is equal to x minus v t and here you see as it is moving along uh, x axis only that's why 
we will get y is equal to y dash or y dash equal to y and z dash is equal to z and in Galilean transformation time recorded in both uh, the frame of reference is same the time dilation concept was not introduced at the time so if you if you uh, if you haven't watched the video that I have made on time dilation so I will provide the link on description in the description box and please go through it so now here these are the uh, sets of equations of Galilean transformation so this is along x-axis as the uh, motion is taking place along x-axis and the remaining coordinates are same and time also remains same and this is applicable or this is acceptable in case of uh, low velocity it's but for an object which is moving with uh, velocity which is uh, near to the velocity of light so this set of transformation are not applicable so in that case we need Lorentz transformation so now let us discuss about Lorentz transformation so now to understand the Lorentz transformation let us uh, consider these two frame of references uh, s and s dash uh, when time t is equal to zero suppose they were at the same position that means the origin of the two frame of reference o and o dash will coincide each other okay this is the original case uh, initial case and the frame of reference s dash travels with velocity v and when t is equal to zero t was equal to zero at uh, in at initial stage a pulse of light was emitted a pulse of light was emitted so which travels with the speed c so here is the point p uh, the light reaches after time t so okay this point p after time t now here you see uh, this frame of reference is moving along x-axis isn't it and this distance this distance between these two frame of references is given by v t as this frame of reference as this moving with velocity v it is moving with velocity v and here you see this distance from here to there it is x it is x okay now by uh, and one more thing here you see this distance from this to this point this is x dash okay so now by Galilean transformation we must get x oh sorry yes x this is equal to x minus vt and there must be some constant k okay because you see when we say Lorentz transformation when we say Lorentz transformation so we consider the case uh, of very high velocity and here in case of high velocity when something is moving with a high velocity time is not absolute okay in that case we need a constant here k and as it is moving along x-axis only so that's why the remaining relations will be same y dash and y and z dash is equal to z so here k is a constant k is a constant and now here you see time this t dash will be different from t so let us suppose a into t minus b x so where a and b are constant where a and b are constants okay. 
So now you see this x distance, this distance x as the pulse of light emitted when both uh, the origin of both uh, frame of reference were coincide it's uh, so that time the pulse of uh, impulse uh, the pulse of light uh, was emitted uh, so that's why uh, and the light is moving with velocity c that's why this must be c into t this distance must be c into t and time recorded in this frame of reference s dash is t dash so that's why this x dash this x dash x dash must be equal to c into t dash so what we have got x is equal to c into t and x dash must be c into t dash now if you square both sides both the equations then what you will get so then we will get x square is equal to c square t square and here it implies x dash square is equal to c square t dash square okay so now this two equation implies x square minus c square t square is equal to zero and here also x dash square minus c square t dash square is equal to zero and both equals zero from one and two you will get uh, from one and two this two implies that x square minus c square t square is equal to x dash square c square t square sorry t dash square okay so now you can see this x dash can be replaced by this relation so then uh, this relation uh, we have got here then we can write so let me scroll down then we can write x square minus c square t square is equal to k square x minus v t whole square minus c square a square t, t minus b x whole square what we have done here t minus b x mm, this t dash this t dash is replaced by this relation this relation here okay so then what we will get and this this x dash x dash is replaced by this relation this relation so if you simplify this then if you simplify and rearrangement this if you expand those squares and rearrange them then you will get an expression like this k square minus c square a square b square into x square minus 2 k square b minus c square a square b x t then minus a square minus k square v square by c square into c square t square you will get this expression you will get this equation now if you compare the coefficients of x square and x on both sides so what we're going to do we're going to compare comparing the coefficients of x square and x on both sides and the constants and the constants also then we are going to have k square minus c square a square b square is equal to 1 k square b minus c square a square b is equal to 0 and you will get a square minus k square b square 
by c square is equal to 1 you will get this 3 then here you see if you solve this uh, for if you solve this 3 for k a and b if you solve this 3 equation for k a and b so what we're gonna have solving these three equations for k a and b we get we get k is equal to a is equal to 1 by root over 1 minus b square by c square and we will get b square is equal to b by c square we get this now let us use these values of k a and b uh, in those equations here we have got so we are going to use the values of k and a b in these equations then what we will get then we will get Lorentz transformation then we will get let me show you so then you will get x dash is equal to x minus v t by root over 1 minus v square c square and you will get t dash is equal to t minus v x by c square by root over 1 minus v square by c square and these two uh, equations along with those y is equal to y dash and z is equal to z dash these are called Lorentz transformation so hope you have understood and believe me it is the easiest way to derive these equations okay so in different books may use different methods that will be longer for you so now uh, if you want the handwritten notes towards the end of the video i have addressed the photos of my handwritten notes uh, on Lorentz transformation you can to take the notes from there as i have not written all the things what i have considered which things i have considered here so i have shown the only uh, derivation part mathematical part so hope you like the video and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to my channel help me to grow the channel thank you for watching